single one of you to know that our voices matter. We're living in a country where, at the moment, the establishment and the system is trying to squelch democracy in every single which way they possibly can. Whether it's through the open closed primary system, the false narrative mainstream media feeds us, or through the fact that at 18 we're still not automatically registered to vote. Kill that shit! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love you! people in Brooklyn alone were turned away at their polling locations for being registered for the party that they choose. It's important to remember, very important to remember, that our greatest defense against tyranny is our right to vote. And regardless of whether the establishment is willing to publicly admit it or not, when people stand together, there's really nothing we can't do. You see it in movements all around the world. But it's not up to pundits or the media or the DNC. It's up to us. And, and clearly, no amount of pressure is going to suppress our commitment to social justice, political reform, equality, and standing up for the 99%. change and I kind of get it right change is hard you have to you have to tear something apart and really examine it and figure out what needs fixing so you can shift the paradigm into something that will help the greater good of the people but we're born into society that teaches us to be fearful they don't want, or they want us to conform but conformity conformity did not win the revolutionary war conformity did not win women the right to vote Fight for civil rights, right? And that's one thing. Uh, what, what, did, what did make us win is our commitment to bravery, our commitment to standing together, and our patience. And that's one thing that the establishment is highly underestimating our patience. They choose convenience over consistency. Instant gratification to benefit the upper 1% with, without acknowledging the suffering that the bottom 99% goes through every single day. But right now, we have a leader who is offering us a platform to unite. He's taken every single grassroots movement, whether it's Black Lives Matter, the feminist movement, climate change, deprivatization of prisons, army of sovereignty of Native Americans. He's taking all of these positive movements a platform to stand together and say enough is enough. For far too long, our elected officials have been paying attention to their own corporate interests and not that of the people, but it's time for that to change. And we're all here today to demand that. And it's so exciting. So, it starts by electing Bernie Sanders, right? Want to be on the right side of history, they just need the education. So let's stand together. 